Hi, um, my name's Lisa Palmer and I live in New Zealand and for quite some time now I've been needing to say how I met a guy called Tupac. Um, it was a few years ago and I went to sleep and I actually woke up in this huge room um, and I was standing next to this guy, I didn't know who he was um, and there was about 50 seats that way and about 30 seats this way and there was a like a four tier stage with these amazing singers on them they were like these big brown skinned women um, what amazed me the most was that they had like these yellow smocks on and they were like nothing I've ever seen before that's what blew me away the most was um they were like liquid it was like canary yellow and pure gold mixed together and when they were singing and moving it was like liquid it was they were beautiful um anyway I sort of freaked out because most of the guys um well all of the guys really were like gang members and they had scarves and patches and you know just I don't know rough looking I guess um, <clears throat> and I noticed that um, like one of them would just sort of disappear in this ray of light and I was trying to work out what what was happening anyway this guy disappeared and then a few seconds later this other guy appeared and he had just been shot and he was like going <gasps> and he was freaking out um, and and then he looked over at the guy standing next to me and I saw him go like that and he looked up at the choir and then he started to cry and I could see him praying and he was like I knew he was praying for forgiveness and and I, I feel that he had just like literally been shot on earth and he went there and, and as soon as he was praying um, this beam of white light came down and then he looked up and he just smiled and looked over at this guy and zoomed up and then within seconds there was another guy and that was happening like with, with all these seats um, anyway I look at this guy who's standing next to me and he goes, you don't know who I am, do you? And I said, no, I've never met you before in my life. And he said, my earthly name was Tupac or Shakur or something like that. Um, and he said, have you heard of me? And I said, no, I haven't. And he laughed and thought that was funny. And then he stuck his hand on, the, on my back and his hand was so hot I just got this this heat that came through me it was just like absolutely amazing um, and then he said look at this and I looked over and there was another like a big gang member and he started to freak out because he had looked like he'd just been stabbed and he was holding his stomach and he was really angry and he stared straight at me and I went <gasps> and I got a fright and I stood behind Tupac and he goes oh, it's alright you know and I said what's he doing and he said just keep watching and he looked over at Tupac and he looked at me and he the just the look in his eyes he was just full of hatred and anger and you know he was just look really mean and then all of a sudden this black like um like nothing I've ever seen here but it was it was almost like liquid but it always like powder at the same time it was so black that it was colorful it was just had every color in the rainbow but it, it was so jet black that it almost it didn't go with anything else and it and it was sort of foggy 
and it came up from his ankles. This sounds like a movie, but it came up from his ankles and then it spiraled around him and he started to scream and then it just went and sucked him down. And I got freaked out so much and I said, what was that? You know, what happened to that guy? And he said, he has so much hatred and anger and no self-respect or respect for anybody that he had so much hate in his heart that he didn't ask for forgiveness. He didn't ask God for forgiveness. He was just mean and nasty and was just so shallow. And he said that's what happens when people don't have forgiveness in their hearts and self-love, self-worth, um, you know. He said you have to, um, you can't love somebody until you love yourself. And pretty much was saying, you know, you have to know yourself. You can't just, like, be in a gang and follow everybody like sheep. That's not what he said, like sheep, but, um, you know, just follow everybody. To be an individual and to stand up for yourself and, and... You know, just like, I don't know, he was pretty cool. Anyway, I was looking at him talking and I thought, he's pretty cute actually. Um, and he kept looking at me and giggling and then he stuck his hand on the top of my head and just all this heat went through. And, and um, I said, why have you chosen me? Why am I here? Like, I don't know you. I don't know these people. To me, they look like people that were, you know, from, like, in an American movie. Like, some sort of gangster movie. And, and he said, I've chosen you because you are from the other side of the world. You know nothing about these people. You know nothing about me. Um, oh, and I, and I, I don't even like his music, so too bad. I'm like, really, I don't like rapping in any way. Um, but I do remember these women were singing in the choir, and I was so blown away because they, that their harmonizing was just so amazing. It was like each, each woman had like three or four voices, and it was just beautiful. I was going to say they sounded like angels, but obviously they are angels. And then Tupac would sing with them, excuse me, but he had like two voices as well. He had one that was sort of like talking, like what you call rapping, but he was singing at the same time. And it was almost like he, he had some sort of hum as well. It was like, it was like amazing. He even said to me, do you like my music? And I was like, um, no, not really, but I like their music. And he thought that was funny too, because these women were just beautiful. just absolutely amazing. Um, anyway, he said, um, because you don't know me, you can't judge me. And I want you to go back and I want you to tell people what I do now. This is what I do. Um, which obviously helps people to, he works for God and he gets people ask, to ask for forgiveness and he helps them and he does it through music and with these beautiful amazing women and, and with amazing voices. Um, I noticed one of the guys that went up in a white light, he was really confused and when he looked over at Tupac he he sort of did some sort of hand gesture and smiled and then he went and then everybody or well, he looked over at the um woman singing and he just went <gasps> like you know it was they because they were so beautiful anyway um he stuck his hand on my shoulder again and he said i want you to tell people this is what i do and i was like oh, okay cool I like, still don't even really know who you are. Anyway, um, and then I woke up. Like, uh, I, I just must have fallen asleep. And I woke up the next day and 
didn't really remember anything of it. I had completely forgotten. Until about lunchtime, one of my daughter's um, boyfriends came around and he goes, Hey, Lisa, check out my screensaver. And I said, Oh, what is it? And he turned around and here's a picture of the man I had just met the night before. And I said, Oh my God, I know him. I met him. And he goes, no, you can't have met him because he died. And I said, who is he? And he goes, Tupac. And I said, yes, that's his name. Or something starting with S. And he goes, yeah, Shakur. And, and he goes, but everybody here knows him as Tupac. And I said, well, who is he? And he goes, he's a gangster. He's a rapper. And he was trying to get the word out there um, and tell everybody to stop fighting and he was trying to get the message through by his words and his songs and singing and and I said well I met him so anyway I told him the story about what had happened and by that afternoon I had like 15 teenagers all coming wanting to hear the story um, and everybody keeps saying oh you got to put it on Facebook or you got to put it on YouTube um, and I didn't know how so I, I still don't know. I'm getting help by just talking on this. Um, <sighs> yeah, so I guess I've done it and got my story out there. Um, I kept ignoring this, thinking, oh, no, no, I won't do it. Um, and then I went into a clothing store, um, and there was two-pack on the front of a t-shirt and I got excited I was like oh my god I know him and of course the lady looked at me like I was bonkers um, and then about six months later I heard a song and someone goes hey this is Tupac so I actually listened to it and I thought oh yeah that does sound like him I remember him yeah so yeah so i told you that I've met Tupac and I well he would like me to tell everybody this is what he does now and he's really happy and he looks really amazing all right bye